We met when I was 15, he was 16. Um, we actually went to rival schools, um, so we met at church. We immediately started dating the same year and have been together since then. We got married in 2005 and uh, this November we'll be married nine years. I joined in 2007, July, when I was 21 years old. My dad is a civilian law enforcement officer and wanted to follow in his footsteps and do something similar and thought security forces would be a good uh, fit. But in basic training, I found out that I was gonna be an air traffic controller, whatever that was. I've always been intrigued by motorcycles and dirt bikes and any type of um, vehicle like that since I was a kid, you know. And being able to get my first bike when we were in Mountain Home was like the best thing in my life. <laughs> She comes running down the hallway, screaming and hollering, get line one, Ray's on the phone, he's been in an accident. And I'm like, what? It was my day off, it was a Monday afternoon. Um, I thought I might smoke some ribs, so, you know, hop on my bike and, you know, run to Walmart real quick. The only traffic that I was aware of was a truck turning into um, the neighborhood. Looked behind him, I saw no traffic, so I thought I had to go ahead and the car was on the other side of that truck. Um, impacted my, my left heel directly. That waiting period from the time that I arrived at the hospital to having my initial surgery, um, all, you know, my direct supervision and, and leadership showed up at the hospital. And, you know, that was kind of emotional because I was telling them how, you know, my career is over and I wasn't going to be able to stay in the military. And they just, um, you know, reassured me that everything was going to be okay and that they were going to do everything they could. His surgeon came out and talked to me in the um, in the waiting room. He's either going to have to amputate or it's going to be years and years of surgeries, lots and lots of recoveries, and to possibly have to amputate anyway. What I told them was that I wanted to do whatever surgery was going to be best for me to return to duty. As husband and wife, we prayed lots of times together. Friends and family and coworkers and everyone just surround us with, with love and, and positive, you know, encouragement. If I was a foot further back into that lane, I'd probably be dead. You know, that's, that's the reality of the situation. So it's really just given me a fresh perspective on life can't let these negative things that happen in our lives define us and, and change how we how we live our lives. You know, if it wasn't a bad thing to begin with, and motorcycles aren't a bad thing to begin with, as long as you're uh, keeping safety in mind and you're, you know, wearing the proper gear and you're doing those types of things. All right, so this is my um, my primary everyday leg, uh, where it, whether I'm at the gym or you know at work. I wear it everywhere I go. This is <clears throat> my running leg. You see these a, a lot, I guess, in the Paralympics and stuff, but um, it's a necessity for me to be able to maintain my fitness and keep my cardio up. So a lot more lightweight uh, than, than this leg, which helps, helps out a lot. My ultimate goal was to be able to, to take the Air Force PT test without a profile, without any waivers, and prove that I'm still physically capable. Right now we're going through the process of trying to get through this medical evaluation and, and hopefully they can see what my desires are and see that I'm, I'm motivated to, to stay in and they allow me to do that. It's not just a job you know, or something to do for a little while until something better comes along. I know there's amazing opportunities on the outside as a civilian, but I want to continue to serve.